Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this message. So today everyone, I'm here with a channel messages reading from your person for all of my Aquariuses out there. So if you have Aquarius as your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, this message might apply to you. Your person Aquarius is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do get started, please keep in mind that this is a general reading for my Aquariuses out there, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it doesn't, please don't take it personally. So, without further ado, Aquarius, here are some messages from your person. Cross watchers, you are welcomed as well. My love isn't for everybody. I'm ready to cut ties. I don't want to see this go. So also Aquarius, please keep in mind if I'm speaking from your person's perspective, that could be how you feel. The roles could be reversed just however this reading resonates for you. This is also a timeless love reading. So any energy I'm describing throughout this reading could apply to the past, the present, the future. And if you're not connected to anyone at this moment, this could be someone from your past or someone who's coming towards you. So Aquarius, I do feel like there's been maybe some tension or some hardships in this connection or just moving closer to becoming closer with this person. Um, I feel like Aquarius, you get from them, and maybe this is your energy, but you get that they're a little bit cold, but you know that's, that's not who they really are, how they really are, what they could be. On um, this person, their experiences or their life it may have been tough or hard or maybe they've they've seen a lot and I feel like it it goes in it feeds into the energy that they perceive from other people and also the energy that they maybe put out but it's like they know that people they really understand the reality when it comes to dealing with people and how a connection isn't always what you would like for it to be or what you think and because they really know this they they try not to let anything slip past them um so they could be very skeptical but just when getting to know them or just trying to reach that trust with them Aquarius I feel like it's hard to get to it's hard to meet them um, so we have my love isn't for everybody. I feel like this is your person's energy, Aquarius, and remember roles could be reversed. But I feel like this is their energy and just more like you're not going to get me at first and you might not get me moving forward. Like you might not understand me well enough to see this out with me, um, but if you if you can't see it from the start then you might as well not be able to like there's no point in moving forward like this person is able to pick apart who is worth their time and who isn't and or who's not and the people who aren't Aquarius I feel like they're very cold towards, but even the people who are, they could still be cold towards them, but it's not how they actually feel. We have, I don't want to see this go. I feel like this is a mutual energy, Aquarius. I feel like your person, they might not be expressing that you mean anything to them or that they care about you, Aquarius, or it might seem that they're hard to reach, but I feel like deep down, this is a connection that they really want, but... It's more about, are you going to switch up on the Aquarius? Are you going to do me wrong? Is this going to be a waste of time? Because this person's energy is, I'm better off alone. And adding people to the equation just hurts me further. I'm ready to cut ties. I feel like this is your energy, Aquarius. Um, I feel like in the moment, 
you might feel as if this is getting nowhere, this person, they have no interest in you, or they're maybe just not capable of being in a connection. And I feel like if they have this energy about them that's very nonchalant, you don't, you don't like that, especially when you've been trying for this connection. Is a fresh start possible? I'm down for you. I've prayed for something like this. So Aquarius, um, I feel like you want this person to know that when it comes to you, you understand what they've gone through, what they've been through, because you may have gone through similar experiences, but because this person, this person seems just aware of people, aware of how they feel, and also aware of the outcome of things. And that's why they stop themselves from building intimate connections, because it feels vulnerable. It feels fear of the unknown, but this person doesn't act like they're scared. To you, Aquarius, it's more like, it is what it is. I've seen this before. I've been through it before. It's like they they release those feelings of attachment because they know where that could lead them. But I feel like you, Aquarius, you want them to know that you recognize who they are and you recognize what they've been through and you're pursuing them for a reason or at least you want to or you wanted to. Um, so it's like, I'm not, you Aquarius, you're not here to fake, you're not here to be a person from the past. You want to be there for this person. So we have them down for you. If you've been seeing angel number 444, take that as confirmation for some of my Aquariuses out there. You might be dealing with an Aries, but that will not and doesn't have to resonate for you. I feel like with this connection, it's just vulnerability that interferes with it from your person, but it's also them wanting to be able to recognize who you are, Aquarius, and your your intentions and believing them. Because I do feel like this is something that they want, but if it's going to get them where they've gotten before, then they'd rather not deal with it. But in the end, they want someone loyal, reliable, solid. So we have, I've prayed for something like this. I feel like this is your person's en energy. Then, is a fresh start possible? I feel like this is a mutual energy, overall energy of the reading, but you're hoping that this person could, can put the past in the past and maybe not see you through the lens that they were viewing in the past. You want them to just drop their beliefs and not apply it to you. Remember our conversation. Heart for heart. You never fail to show me you care. So Aquarius, um, I feel like this connection has the potential to be very strong as far as sp spiritually and like just building that connection because there's a lot of realness in here. Um, I feel like your person is very real and authentic because they don't sugarcoat anything because they've seen the realities of life and not not just when it comes to romantic de uh, not well romantic decisions and situations, but just like dealing with people and how the world works. I feel like they're longing for a connection that's that's clear, that's through and through, straightforward. But this person, I feel like they feel like they can trust you, but it's just a matter of time until they build that that trust within you, Aquarius. Um, so we have remember our conversation. Um, I feel like you and this person may have connected on a deeper level as far as like talking about life, just relating to things, um, relating to feelings that you two have both experienced it's not considered small talk, but just going into some real conversations. And I feel like those conversations, Aquarius, has helped you understand this person and how they come off. Heart for heart, we, I just realized that, but 444 four, four again. Um, 
I feel like, and this is why I say I feel like this could be a strong spiritual connection because you relate to this person, Aquarius, and it's once that layer of vulnerability is dropped, you know that this could be very strong. You, Aquarius, you want to, like, exchange love with this person. But I feel like you, Aquarius, like, you know, you might feel like this is something that this person needs, just a lovable, solid connection. Um, and I feel like they come off as cold, but some of their mannerisms are very caring, like nurturing. Like, I'm getting reminded, like, someone's inner child, like, never... Someone's inner child was never met from an adult or an authority figure. Like, someone wants comfort in another person. And with that, it just expands the love that could could be. Um, so I feel like with your person, Aquarius, you've noticed that they do care. They show that they care in little ways. Um, and this could just be like asking you, Aquarius, like, are you doing okay? Are you, are you enjoying yourself? Like when you two are spending time together. When we're together, it's like it's only us in the whole entire world, me and you, no one else. So yeah, definitely could be a strong spiritual connection here. Um, you and this person, Aquarius, might have similar like birth charts or maybe your birthdays aren't far apart from one another um but yeah i feel like this has the potential to grow into a spiritual connection because it's like you two get one another and i feel like your person they have some healing to do that they're actively doing um i think it it has something to do with their past their inner child but you feel or your person aquarius they feel like they're able to start to express themselves and feel more comfortable and start to trust you, Aquarius. And I feel like you two relate in some way, and maybe it's because of that misunderstood factor. And I, I speak from experience being an Aquarius moon, but yeah, I will actually go ahead and leave it at that for all of my Aquariuses today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.